Hey everyone, welcome back to Bee's Kitchen. Hoping you're all doing well. Today I am going to show you how to make shukshuka. Now for those of you who don't know what shukshuka is, this dish is a popular breakfast dish which originates from the northern part of Africa and now is widely eaten in the Middle East. It is absolutely delicious. It's made using tomato based sauce and poached eggs and it just makes the perfect breakfast dish. So stay with me and let's get started on this recipe. For this recipe, I am going to use the following ingredients. I have some finely diced red bell pepper. I have some finely diced shallots. I have finely diced onions as well. I have some minced garlic, freshly chopped parsley, tomato puree. I have some chilies. If you don't like chilies, feel free to omit it from this recipe. I have chopped tin tomato. I have my eggs in this bowl, olive oil, black pepper, mixed herbs, smoked paprika, white pepper, ground cumin, ground coriander, and then finally aromat as always. All ingredients, including measurements, will be in the description box below. To begin with, I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to my cast iron skillet. Now, if you don't have a cast iron skillet, you can certainly use a frying pan. It will work the same way. Now, I'm going to allow the oil to come to heat. And once the oil is hot, I'm just adding my shallot and onions. You're probably wondering why I am using shallot and onions. Reason being, I do like the fragrance um, shallot has and I do like the taste of the white onions also bring to this recipe now i've just added minced garlic and i'm just mixing everything together i will allow this to simmer on low to medium heat until it is nice and fragrant i'm now going to add my chilies and i will just continue to mix everything together on low to medium heat for about one minute as i mentioned before if you don't like spicy food feel free to omit the chilies from this recipe I'm now going to add my red diced bell pepper and i'll saute this for about two to three minutes Next, I'm going to add the tomato puree and I'll mix everything together and allow this to simmer for two minutes. I'm now going to add my chopped tin tomatoes and I'll mix everything together. Next, I will add my seasonings. Also guys, feel free to add your preferred seasonings of choice. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly click on that subscribe button, click that notification bell so you will be the first person to be notified once I post a new recipe on this channel. And for those of you who have subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing and thank you so much for all your comments. I really do appreciate it. Once I've added all my seasonings, I'm just going to mix everything together well. I'll allow this to simmer on low to medium heat for 5 to 10 minutes until the sauce thickens. And now time to add the eggs. Before I do that, I'm just creating little space or should I say little holes and I'll gently drop the eggs in and I'll do the same thing for the rest of the eggs.
once i've added all my eggs i'm just going to cover and simmer on low heat for 10 to 12 minutes until the eggs are cooked and also guys shikshika pairs very very well with some toasted bread and i currently have mine in the toaster ready to go and the shikshika is ready guys it smells amazing i cannot even begin to express the aroma emanating from this pan right now also if you feel like your eggs are not cooked you can certainly leave it to cook for a bit longer i like mine a little bit runny so if you like yours hard then allow it to cook longer than 10 to 12 minutes i also garnished it with some fresh parsley if you don't have fresh parsley feel free to garnish it with some dried parsley and that's it guys as always thank you so much for joining me please don't forget to like this video share this video comment below subscribe to this channel if you have not already done so and don't forget to click that notification bell which will notify you every time i post a new recipe enjoy your shake shika and i'll see you next time bye